Getting internet access to your IoT devices can be a pain if your devices are several miles from civilization. Luckily, there are a few options out there, including cellular networks, LoRa, Sigfox, and others. We've got a board today that will help you get started with two of those protocols and give you some other wireless options as well. The LoPi 4 from PyCom is a development board that offers four different radio interfaces. It's based on the ESP32 chipset with 4 megabytes of RAM and 8 megabytes of flash memory. There are 24 GPIO and it supports two UARTs, a SPI port, two I2C ports, and I2S. What makes this board slick is that it has onboard radios for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LoRa, and Sigfox. Out of the box, the LoPi runs MicroPython, which makes developing on it fast and easy. Note that to program it, you'll need the expansion board or a USB to serial adapter. The expansion board 3.0 comes with an onboard USB to serial translator so that you can start programming the LoPi right away. You'll also find a slot for a micro SD card along with a LiPo connector and charging circuit. The LoPi has an onboard antenna for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but note that to use the Sigfox or LoRa radios, you'll need to attach an external antenna, otherwise you might risk damaging the radios. The LoPi LoRa antenna is a rubber ducky style antenna tuned for around 900 megahertz. It comes with a U.FL to reverse polarity SMA pigtail so you can connect it to your LoPi board. LoRa is known to be a low data rate but long range communication protocol, so let's test it. I've taken two LoPi boards and put them in boxes with beefy batteries that should last a while. The first board is simply a server that listens for the string ping on the LoRa radio. The second acts as a client that sends out that ping once every few hundred milliseconds. When the server receives it, it sends the string pong back to the client. If the client sees Pong, it flashes green, otherwise it flashes red. Let's go outside to test them. We've taped the server to the top of the railing so that we can get line of sight to a hill up that direction. We're going to drive up it with another LoRa device to see how far we can go while maintaining a connection. All that's going to happen is that device is going to send pings, this is going to listen for them and send a Pong back, and we want to see how far we can go to maintain that connection with just the simple stock antennas. We drove uphill from SparkFun, so we still have line of sight to the building. I measured on Google Maps and we're about 1.8 miles away. I'm dropping about 70% of my packets, but that means 30% are still going through. That's pretty good with this antenna, and you can upgrade this even more if you were to put on a directional antenna and be able to increase the distance with LoRa. As you can see, we got pretty good range, which is great if you're trying to send small packets from your client back to some central location. Because the LoPi has a built-in Wi-Fi radio, you can actually set one up as a low-power LoRaWAN gateway, which is great if you need to give internet access to your LoRa devices. Because of this, the LoPi 4 is a great way to get started with some of the more long-range communication protocols.